Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Programming Concepts. I am Sayyid Naveed Abbas and this video is going to be the second part of C Sharp Weather Application. So continuing from where we left off, we have this and today we are going to add some forecast functionality in this. So the things are actually quite similar to what we did earlier. Um, we shall be creating uh, another call for API which is called uh, one call API so let's head to that open weather map Okay, this is one call API. So we check its documentation. Okay, uh, in this API link, we have to provide latitude, longitude and the parts we want to exclude and the API ID so here you can see we can exclude current minutely hourly daily alerts like if you don't exclude them they will be added in your API like uh, the current data and the minutely forecast hourly forecast daily forecast and alerts so we need daily forecast and we don't need current minutely hourly and alerts so we shall ex exclude them and here there are the units standard metric imperial etc etc and language so this is the example here so let's go to the coding And we have API key and we have everything here which is working fine so we shall be creating another function so I copy it and paste it here this will be get forecast and the link would be different copy paste it here here we need to provide latitude and longitude API but the problem is how we get the longitude and latitude of um, the given city like if we search the city here or any location then how would how would we get longitude and latitude for that location so the problem can be solved from here um, if we look inside our weather information class here we are accessing longitude and latitude so we can get the longitude and latitude from here and then we can pass these longitude and latitude into our forecast function so what we are gonna do here is create global variables um, double um, longitude 
and latitude and when we get weather of some specific city we extract its longitude and latitude so we get longitude equals uh, info uh, coordinates longitude and latitude we get it info uh, coordinates and latitude so when we shall search for any specific city like Islamabad uh, we shall get its longitude and latitude from this information and then we can pass these parameters in this uh, APA call to get the forecast for that location so we're gonna put a latitude first then longitude and then the API key mm, these things are actually quite will be quite similar but for now we have to remove them and now we need to create another um, class uh, like this one for handling the forecast data so first we need to visit this link so we copy it and paste it here here we need the API key the longitude and latitude are already here I don't know for what country or area are they but it should work uh, okay I'm going to copy API key and I think I have blocked this API key now it's working okay now um, good we need to copy all this information and paste it in Visual Studio Code so we can see it formatted and we select JSON and formate it okay okay so these are the latitude and longitude we searched time zone America Chicago and blah 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 okay this is the current weather location this is the minutely uh, forecast and okay that's not relevant we need to exclude minutely 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 hourly and we want daily we don't need to exclude it actually we need daily forecast so we're gonna block alerts so we have excluded minutely early and alerts let's see again current okay we don't need current so we're gonna exclude it also and minutely early daily alerts okay now we are good to go okay it's loading and okay it's here I'm going to copy it 
and replace here and format okay okay now we can see uh, this is the daily forecast and it is the list so this is uh, maybe uh, today and this is the next day so this is tomorrow and this is the next day and this is again the next the next the next and the next so we have all the forecast of um, like on daily basis so we need to extract these information from this so we need to create another class so we go here and here and create another class class okay this is going to be called weather forecast forecast dot cs okay in this class we have daily public class daily and in this daily class uh, come on okay this is the daily class and in this daily class we have DT which is a public long uh, DT so it is uh, date time and sunrise sunset we don't need them uh, temperature we need temperature so temperature is again a class uh, yes so it's going to be public so we need to create another class for temperature so public class temperature okay so in daily we have temperature and it has the day temperature minimum and maximum so we don't need minimum and maximum we just need the day okay it's going to be public um, double day uh, get set okay so here it is uh, public temp temp get set so inside the the daily class there is temperature class and there's fields like class but we don't need them there is pressure humidity we don't need them okay yes this is the thing we need inside daily class there is weather class so we have to create another class public weather public class weather and this is main description and icon so main is 
string description is string icon is string public string main get set and public string description get set and public string icon get set okay as you notice here weather is actually a list like the daily class so daily class is a list and weather class is also a list so we have to put here list like public list list of uh, weather 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 get set okay we have weather now and clouds we don't need clouds and then it's for another day the same things temperature and feels like pressure and weather that's it so we have to put all these in a single class so we create another class which will be public class forecast info so forecast info would be uh, consisting of um, a class public uh, list daily daily get set so what we did here is created a class which will be holding all these classes like the this class is containing daily list of classes and daily is containing temperature class and weather class as you can see here daily is containing temperature class and weather class and also containing the date time because we need um, the date time of the day to display weather for and the the daily is containing list of weather um, classes and like not the classes actually but the objects so list of objects of weather class and weather is containing main description and icon okay that's it let's go here sorry here and we have modified the link okay we need to exclude current and minutely minutely early and alerts alerts And that's it now this is going to be similar to this one so we're gonna do uh, weather forecast uh, forecast info equals Uh, forecast info JSON deserialize uh, copy this thing and paste it here so we're gonna deserialize this into 
weather forecast forecasting field okay now as we get the information from that thing we can display our forecast uh, but we have to create some GUI to display weather forecast so what we're gonna do is we are going to create a user control so user control is actually a piece of Windows form which can be inserted or displayed inside um, a parent form so it's not complete form but it uh, it is a child of a form so let's insert a user control add new item and user control it's uh, Windows Forms app and we shall name it forecast UC okay in this user control we shall be containing a picture box to display the icon for that weather here this is much bigger this is enough okay and some labels this will be uh, the date time label DT like maybe it's Sunday okay and then we shall copy it here it will be the weather condition label weather condition or we can call it man weather so this could be clear and copy this here should be description description for the weather so this is label weather description weather description we have to name it this picture box also so we call it mm, pick weather icon and we missed temperature here okay we need we don't need it we don't need temperature here so we just need to display these things and now we have to select all and we need to change its modifier to public so we can modify its content from the main form okay Now 
we want a loop here for integer i equal 0 i is less than uh, okay how many days are covered in this so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have 8 days forecast in this file so we write this less than 8 i plus plus ok now for each uh, daily forecast we have to display that user control into the main control into the main form so we have to add a panel here this is called flow layout panel shall insert it here to display our forecast we call it FLP and it should be transparent and its direction should be left to right that's good that's it ok now we create uh, a user control view um, forecast okay. weather forecast or forecast forecast user control fuc equals okay that's it now we create fuc new forecast user control and fuc uh, picture weather, weather icon image location location equals uh, we need to copy this address copy Plus um, forecast info uh, daily and weather. So daily, then it's come on inside daily, there's weather. Okay, daily is a list. So inside daily, so we uh, need to put i here. So uh, the loop will run from zero to seven. So for first day, and then for second day, and then for third and fourth, and so on. So day one, and weather. Weather is also a list. So we should put zero here. And icon and then plus dot png here. That's it. Now we initialize the man lab level man weather text equals uh, forecasting foo forecasting foo daily for i and then weather and then zero and then man weather and then if you see description 
description description description weather description text equals forecast daily weather is zero and description and then we need FUC uh, label DT date time uh, text equals forecast entry daily I and DT not daily. It's weather info. Uh, let me check it. Daily and DT. Inside daily. Inside. Daily. DT. Uh, okay, we need to Pass this information to get date time. Get okay. convert date time. Convert date time, and then we're gonna convert it to. Uh, Day, um, day of week, two string. this to FOP. So FOP controls add FUC. And then the loop will um, restart from here and this will add uh, the next day and then the next day and then the next day and all this will be added into flow layout panel. Let's run this. Okay, now we search for Islam Abad. Search. Okay, that's it. There's Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and it's not showing the score bar. Okay, we make its text to white. So we go here, hit here, and we make its text to white. We make it white here. on white and here we select it to scroll and but we don't need it to wrap you know, because we need the weather in horizontal not in vertical so 
there is a scroll bar. Scroll, scroll, auto scroll, auto scroll. It's here. Auto scroll. True. Let's run this again. And we search for Islam Abad. Search. Okay, now everything is white. I think we can't make it transparent. Oh, it's transparent. Oh. Uh, that's it. Run this again. And search for Islamabad. That's it. Now we have Thursday clouds and few clouds. We have Friday and clouds and then we have Sunday it's clear and then it's Sunday again and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. So this is how we get the forecast from Open Weather Map API. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from, from today's tutorial. Um, Sorry for being late uh, because I thought I didn't get much response from uh, my previous video so I'm really sorry for that buddies were waiting for this video and I'm sorry for that that's what I can say for now um, so see you in the next video inshallah uh, enjoy